It is the Polar Plunge 2015, and look at these two next to you over here, Scott. They're dressed for cold weather. Did you see them making fun of us before yeah, we came on yeah. the air? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's pretend we're Gary Owens. <laughs> with our, yeah, great. We've got uh, Brian Harris and Todd Dunham both back in from the Muskegon County Police Department. Morning, gents. How are you? Great, great. How you doing? Get right up on that mic, guys. Great. How you doing? See, now, why isn't that working right? <laughs> I don't know. Try it again. Boost. Test, test, test. Try it again. One, two, three, four, five. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. I, <laughs> it's a little low. I can't figure out what's going on with these mics. But anyway, hey, we uh, talked a week or so ago a little bit about the Polar Plunge. You guys have got all kinds of activities going on around this thing. It gets bigger every year. And uh, this year, I mean, you've added new layers of parties. You've added new events. You've added all kinds of stuff. Let's talk about what we're doing tonight, first and foremost. Todd Dunham. Well, tonight we have the pre-registration uh, party where we're going to be kicking off. We'll have a... Uh, <laughs> Boy, Brian's telling me to speak up. Mm-hmm. What we'll be doing though is we're gonna, we hired a band. We're gonna have yard sale underwear. Uh, be five dollars at the door. All proceeds go towards Special Olympics. Uh, that the band starts to be from seven till eleven. Yeah. Uh, and the band's called what? Yard sale underwear. Oh, they're, see. Band here. they're excellent. Band. Scott. Scott is from Cedar Springs. Scott oh. doesn't know a whole lot about the culture and the nightlife and all that other stuff yeah, here in Muskegon. He likes long underwear. That yeah. Band. Yeah, Scott, yeah. Scott knows more about red flannels than he does yeah. yard sale underwear. Yeah. But the fact that this this band yard sale underwear, yeah. they're like the hit. Okay, they're all the right. it band to go see at this point. Well, he right said now. that for that. He's kidding, right? No, no, he's not kidding. Okay. Well, we have a great following. So on top of their following, and we'll have. It's been advertised highly. Sure. Yeah, Andy L has been putting it all, all over. Mm-hmm. So that'll be a good turnout, I hope. Yeah, in fact, it's been uh, so highly advertised, and everybody's so excited about it. My wife says to me last night, she's like, "Would you mind picking me up at Fricano's after the game?" I'm like, "You're not coming to the hockey game?" She's like, "No, I think I'd rather go to the party." I said, "Well, just drink till I'm cute. <laughs> You'll have a designated driver." So that's tonight. It gets underway at six o'clock. The music starts at seven. Is there any kind of uh, things that go along with the party other than the music? And the, and the are you doing like raffles or any of that kind of stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it over to Brian. He's the one. Uh, he's the raffle king. He's yeah. the raffle king. Oh, yeah. Well, we didn't want to uh, compete too much with tomorrow because we right. got tons of stuff tomorrow. Sure. I mean, like crazy stuff. Uh, really, really nice uh, packages tomorrow. We got TVs, we got uh, you know computer tablets, and we got we got thousands of dollars worth of stuff for tomorrow. But tonight we got a, a brand new kayak. Uh, I'm not Ooh. sure on the dimensions, but apparently it's about a five or six hundred dollar kayak. That's a nice price. They're yeah. going to raffle off tonight, and actually, with a kayak, we're going to donate the money to the uh, Muskegon County Sheriff's Department dive team. Oh, that's cool. That's what Todd runs, and they come out every year to uh, for safety for right. the polar plunge. They've mm-hmm. been doing it forever. So anybody that's thinking about coming or that's coming tomorrow, it's really safe. Uh, knock on wood. They've really they've never in the history of the plunge in Muskegon, they've never had so much as a hangnail. No That's one's cool. ever been treated. They do have an ambulance on hand. But so you kind of have to, because yeah. that water they, hits they, you. It's kind of a the shock, isn't out. it? Um, there's three, four guys in the water, guys on the dock. Uh, I mean, literally, you jump in and you're out. I mean, most people, they hit the water. You know, they're like cartoons. They're right. out of the water fast anyways. Well, but yeah. Uh, yeah nobody get, wants to be in that water. Get too ladder and they're gone. <laughs> but getting back to tonight, you know, we're going to do a couple 50-50s tonight as okay. well. And uh, we actually, we've got some stuff we can pull out. It depends on the crowd. You know, we're not going to advertise it because we didn't want to compete with tomorrow. And sure, sure. Don't even want to compete. We want Todd to get the money for his dive team because sure. they, they're pure volunteer. They don't have a budget. They get no money from the taxpayers. So, Sounds uh, familiar. You know, yeah. <laughs> There's also, uh, we, we got something new this year. We got a photo booth coming in. Oh, fun. Um, and it's more than just the uh, just the pictures, you know, of your two heads and stuff. They can do some digital stuff and they can put you in front of a plunge hole and make it look like you're jumping and all oh, that kind of stuff. And, very cool. Oh, better yet. I like that idea. Yeah. yeah. And, and they're, they, actually, <laughs> actually, you know, Scott, Scott was earlier in here talking. He goes, you know, that's on my bucket yeah, list to come out yeah, and do a polar plunge. So. Oh, <laughs> don't try and back out of it now. I can find the $75 donation required if you can get him to come out. <laughs> no, I don't think that'll happen. <laughs> um, and uh, we're actually there. What it started out, it was a pre-registration party. Right. Uh, a couple of years ago, we just kind of doubled the numbers, and it was nuts. On the day of, it was like people were complaining and they were waiting in line. So about three years ago, we started a pre-registration on Friday. A bunch of the volunteers go over there and from 4 until 8 at Fricano's, and you can stop by, turn in your money, you get a wristband for the next day, okay. you get your T-shirt, you don't got to wait in line. Right Now the next day, 
when you get on the bus to go to the hole, you might wait in a little bit of a line, but you're not waiting in all that other line. What type of numbers are we looking at? Well, how many people did this last year? I think it was over It was over 350 wow. last year. I'm amazed at the popularity of things. I went up to a, a polar plunge last winter up in Holton Lake, and same thing. There were like 300 people standing in line to jump into this water. Well, it's your turn tomorrow. <laughs> I don't think so. You're the one that was saying you wanted to do it. <laughs> yeah, we keep, we keep building it, and some of it's just uh, the promotion. I sure. mean, over mm-hmm. the years... It was kind of a thing, and then it wasn't really, it was never, you know, they never put out posters. They never got on the radio. They never got on. I, Jeanette Bowl, who's one of our co-chairs, she was, uh, sat down with Juliet Dragos on Channel 13 last night, you know, and was live at 530. So, uh, and with the help that we're getting from you guys this sure, year, well. which is a, the perfect radio station, you know, you guys do so much for Muskegon that, uh, that we're glad uh, we could come out and talk to you. And, when we came out before, we were talking about the hockey game. That was a big success. Yeah, we you had there. the dunk tank there and everything. That was fun. We had fun. the great dunk tank. No one got hurt. Yep. We dunked uh, five different police officers. We had the drop a cop dunk drop tank. Drop a cop. <laughs> I like it, yeah. And, <laughs> nice. Uh, the guys at Reading Rental hooked us up with the dunk tank, so it was pure profit. You know, five bucks for three balls. Nice. And, uh, dunking the cops in uniform all night long was an absolute hit. <laughs> and you had a battle of the breweries, too. <laughs> and we had a battle of the breweries just a couple weeks ago. Uh, Pigeon Hill, Fetch, and um, Unruly all went at it, and... Uh, they raised uh, three thousand eight hundred eighty-eight dollars between them. Oh, nice! Nice. Yeah, just by putting jugs out and doing this and that. I will. I will make one note. Uh, we went out with one week left to tell them where they were at. Counted the money. Unruly was in third. They ended up winning. Their brewmaster Eric. I can't think of his last name. Yep. He agreed to shave his eyebrows if they won because he didn't want to plunge. <laughs> what the deal was is the winning team. The losing team of the three had to jump in the plunge wearing the clothes from like, the other plunge. Yeah, the garb yeah. of the yeah. So yeah. so Fetch has to jump wearing unruly brewing t shirts. There you have so, it. So this Eric has his video out there, it's on their website too. You can see where they shave his eyes the night they won. But it, it was awesome. We made over a thousand dollars at the hockey game, it was nice. a blast. And they've made over thirty eight hundred at that. So there's a couple new things and then with the band tonight we'll see how that goes. It's gonna be all profit from the door. So hopefully we're gonna kick our numbers up we made 67 66 thousand last year before expenses and i think we'll we'll blow that away and every all right let's talk about tomorrow then what time does everything get underway tomorrow down at uh, the fricano event center uh the pre-registration starts at four okay Um, no tomorrow oh tomorrow tomorrow Way to go, Dunham. Yeah. <laughs> pay, pay closer <laughs> attention there, sir. <laughs> well, I get that. I feel that way every time I'm around you, Andy. I'll bet you do. <laughs> so what, what it is, uh, tomorrow we'll, uh, registration. The registration starts at 11? Noon. Noon. Noon? Yep. Registration starts at noon, um, and then they'll, the activities will start. You can be in for Connell's, and then they'll, uh, we'll go down to the hole. After we give our safety speech, Brian and I will go down there, and they'll start plunging at Two. Oof. Man, and there's a party afterwards as well? Well, the party goes on the whole time. Well, yeah, I know the party goes on the whole time. But yeah, see, when you're doing a radio interview, what you do yeah. from this end of things is you kind of have an idea of what's going on. Mm-hmm. And then you ask you, the guest, to kind of fill in those spaces. And, and then if you get stumped, I can just jump in and go, well, yeah, the party does go on, doesn't it? Yeah, it goes on all, all day. So it goes until what time tomorrow night? Actually, we never have a shut off, but usually... that's the way you want it. You're right, and you know what? A good party. They're the cops. Mm-hmm. They're not coming to shut it down. <laughs> there you go. That's you perfect. Can't beat that. <laughs> you can't beat that. Can't beat it. So, uh, hopefully, the goal this year is to uh, top the sixty grand you did last year. And, and again, if you don't know what the polar plunge is all about, it all goes to the Special Olympics, and it's a huge, huge deal. And I'm, I'm proud to be a part of it and let you guys. Uh, I, well, I'm doing like a, a judging thing tomorrow. Oh, is that correct? I don't I'm going to be like judging costumes That's or whatever. Right. You're you're like the top celebrity judge we yeah. have tomorrow. I, I mean, understand. I'm kind of a big deal. I had deal. to go through like five <laughs> agents just to get to you. I'll bet you did. Your people had to call his people. Yeah, yeah right. right. We got uh, Brandon Champion from M Live. Oh, yeah, I know Brandon. Heather couldn't make it this year. And uh, Ken Sanford, he's the police chief over there in uh, Muskegon Township's coming. Okay. And we have the newly crowned Miss Shoreline, mm. which I don't have her name handy, but she'll be out there sitting right next to you with nice. a little skinny little thing next mm-hmm. to you. That ought to look awesome. She'll, she'll be thrilled. Let's yeah. keep her warm. With yeah. her little crown on. We <laughs> keep her away not, from me. There's no freezing rain tomorrow. <laughs> keep some Lysol, Andy. Uh, oh, uh, Andy, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get rid of that cold, can you? <laughs> so, Senator Hansen's going to be out there, too. So oh, cool. he's a good sport. He's done it for a few years. Uh, you guys have to be right out there in the thick of things. It, the schedule is two to four for the plunge, but okay. most people, once they get going, they want to go fast. And, yep. you know, we go, oh, my God, we got 400 people. How are we going to do this? Well, guess what? They jump real fast. Yes, they do. <laughs> and they're out real fast. So we get it all done. Yeah, we get two holes going. And uh, 
they have a little safety briefing beforehand. You can buy raffle tickets starting at noon, and they'll have 50-50s. They'll have what they call big ticket raffles. No oh, Prizes that yeah. are 150 or more kind of a deal. And then the typical gift cards and all that stuff in there. Uh, the people that are plunging get free pizza buffet afterwards. Nice. Includes pop and coffee and, of course, for Connell's Pizza. If you want to come to that party, it is a $10 charge. You're not going to get in without paying, but it's all going to, uh, you know, Special Olympics. Yeah. And, you know, and you do get the pizza. And some people, you know, hey, I don't want the pizza. But that's, I mean, it, we can barely fit the people in there as yeah. it is. So no. just be prepared if you're coming. Um, but we have, we try to simulcast it. We yep. actually have some computer cameras out there. It's not great because we don't have an actual cameraman right. zooming in. But so if you wanted to come and watch, you could technically you could stay inside. But what's the fun in that? Exactly. So. Get out and have some fun in the winter. That's all yeah. it's really We switched about. over to uh, Heart Shore Marina a few years ago when it was so nice there wasn't no ice. Yeah. So and it's worked out great to have a you know it's like a bowl in there mm-hmm. and it's right next to Ricanos. We actually bus you from the front door if you're a plunger mm-hmm. down there. Um, that That's cool. And we cut a new gate to kind of cut the angle off, and uh, we we do everything we can. We've got it all marked. We've got. Spots for the judges all marked Ooh. off. You got your own parking Ooh. spot. Look at that! I mean, uh, Just they, they create a special. <laughs> they create a special cocktail in there. For Connell's is wonderful with us. Um, Emily and Nick over there. They take care of us. Ted, Ted is uh, doing great stuff uh, for us and, and helping out. I'm sure you know he likes his bar money he makes for the night. But think? He's, he's done great for yeah, us. He's, he's a good guy. He's really taking care of us. It's the Polar Plunge. It's underway tonight with the big pre-plunge party down at the Fricano Event Center, and then tomorrow things will get underway about noon with registration. Brian, Todd, thanks, guys, for all the work you do to help this thing out. These kids are fantastic to uh, be around the Special Olympics kids or the mm-hmm. No More Sidelines kids. It's right. a rewarding experience, and uh, we wish you the best, and uh, hopefully uh, you make a bunch of money. Over the weekend. Yeah, thanks a lot. It just mentioned, you know, like we're talking about all the party stuff, the, the real cause. They had their Winter Olympics this week up in Traverse City, and uh, I, I just saw some of the numbers. For the year now, they have 23 different um, sports, and for the year, they uh, will have 21,000 uh, kids participate wow. just in Michigan. Wow. That's a lot. Uh, of they'll kids. make over a million dollars just in the polar plunges. I think there's 27 this year. No kidding. And we're up to just from our region, which uh, which is three counties. I think we send a, a, a little over 200 athletes just from Muskegon. They go for uh, you know two, three, four days. They get uh, housing, and uh, it's not just the events. There's all kinds of stuff to do on the side sure. that, that uh, enriches their lives right. and gives them an opportunity to do a lot of stuff they might not normally get to do. Well, so you guys it's are, an awesome, awesome program. You're doing your part, and we're proud to have you in. So uh, good luck on the Polar Plunge. It's tonight and tomorrow night down at Fricano's Event Center. Make sure you're a part of it. We'll put all the details up online at muskeganradio.com.